This is what the Tesla sees on autopilot, but what if I told you that I made it but at a very basic level, and that you can too? Here's how it happened. So I went on Google Colab, which is crazy because it lets you borrow Google's GPU for absolutely free, grabbed a public Apple dataset from Roboflow, and then I trained it with the YOLO V8 model. Now, what is YOLO and why specifically did I choose it? Well, it's because a lot of the older models slid a window across the image and then reanalyzes it for every time that window moves. But YOLO is good because it skips all that. It splits the image into like a grid and it processes everything in one go and that's what makes it fast enough for real-time stuff like self-driving cars. If you are the GPU that I borrowed from Google, the training process for you basically looks like finding where the image and the corresponding label files are through the data.yaml file and then studying the image via the way of the YOLO which I talked about and then doing that for every single picture in the database. Now after the model went through and learned all the images in the database 50 times or 50 epochs, the model could detect apples decently well, like this, and this, and the reason that happens is because the face has the same general features as a bruised apple, as round shape, you know, as uneven patterns, similar texture to the model, and they look close enough for a broken apple. So to fix that, I fine-tuned the model again, but added intentionally bad images, aka negatives. Basically, I fed a bunch of face images without the labels, and that teaches the model that this is definitely not an apple. I also added a second apple dataset to indoctrinate it on what an apple should look like, aka positives. And I trained again, but this time I had to be careful and train with a lower learning rate so that I wouldn't have to relearn what an apple looks like. And lo and behold after that, the false positives have disappeared, and now the model become way more confident as well, which is very good. But the cool part? This whole process is basically how that Tesla I talked about finds a pedestrian. It really isn't that intimidating when you look at it, and you should try it out for yourself too. Check the description for the article.